Then I'm now able to go ahead and do five beeps. So one, two, three, four, five. Hey guys, it's your boy, Mr. Greek 2002. In today's video, I'm gonna be unboxing and installing and also modifying my Mark 7 Jetta with the Carissa dongle and the app on my iPhone XS Max. Without further ado, on to the video. So here guys is my Carista dongle. Let's go ahead now and do the unboxing on it. So guys, I've now moved inside the car because outside is very cold and extremely windy. And all you hear in the microphone is just the wind noise. I've went ahead and unboxed the Carista dongle out of the box. Okay, there it is. Put the box aside and here it is. Okay, Carista. There's a back, some kind of hook on here, I think. As you can see coming out, yeah. You can hook it onto the wall in your shop. Okay. The bottom, the side here for the Google Play app, the QR code there, and also the QR scan thing here for the App Store. Okay, and there you go. I've got it open. There's a dongle. Let's take it out. And so it looks like standard ODB2 dongle. All right, wonderful. Stuck in the box. Just like that, nothing really spectacular. And nope, actually not, nothing's inside it. Just a foam piece, okay. And then the actual box itself, nothing there. All right, let's put it all back together now. With a lid on it. And there it is, wonderful. Okay, put it down. Oh, just wanna stay closed, okay. And the actual dongle. Let's go ahead and now open the door and Get on the steering wheel and install it. I'll go ahead now, get up under here. It's under the headlight switch, under the dash. There you go. It installs that way. Okay, we'll find the port, plug it in, and you get this red light coming on. So next up, we're gonna go ahead now on my Tennis Max phone. I've already downloaded the app. Let's go ahead and open it. We have a Wi-Fi service available here. At the Volkswagen dealership, so I'm connected to Wi-Fi. There's no SIM card in this phone or LTE, okay. Now we want to do, I guess, customize, right? Okay, Carista. Okay, it's saying connecting to my device. Oh, you see down here now, a blue light flashing, as well as a red light. You can see it right there, flashing. Okay. Oh, it's going on the screen here now. 22%, wonderful. Ignition is on, make sure it says normal to see dash warnings okay that's fine now 30 percent and we're back guys the radio turned on by itself just the last few percentage of it all right so now we're logged in here okay chases an engine okay disable auto start stop okay method a method b power steering default mode okay thorough response behavior esc asr okay interesting next up Dings and warnings, okay, seatbelt, seatbelt, speed warning, ding when key is left in ignition. Okay. Going through guys, all stuff you can do here. Dynamic start assist, hill start assist, disengagement. Okay. Heater AC, remember recirculating air state, show AC blower speed when in auto, temperature adjustment for hot countries. Okay. Intermits. Gates, you know, sweep. Yep, love that. Develop menu in MMI via holding menu for 10 seconds. Okay, start screen logo, entertainment, okay. Start screen logo, microphone sensitivity, driver information system, allow enabling all temperature display, all temperature display, efficiency program, refuel quantity MFT, any more? Yep, there's more. So you now, Show digital speed in dashboard, telephone menu display, navigation compass display, compass display position, ambient temperature display, allow car settings and MI, okay, allow tuner settings, allow meeting signal, phone settings, let's see any more. Let's see more at the bottom there. Offer information, that's about it. Okay, back. Next, light bulb checks, okay. Bulb check, low beam, front of lights, same thing, front of red lights, okay. Coming home, leaving home, there they are. Daytime running lights, enabled. Okay, wonderful. And the rest of them, 
Okay, exterior lights. There they are. There's more at the bottom. Locking, automatic. Okay. Locking, beep and blink. All right. And guys, all these settings and all these things are just stuck. I haven't done anything yet. Okay. There they are. Next. Seats and steering wheel. Okay. Trunk. Sunroof and windows. Okay. Wipers and washers. Interesting. Other. Interesting. All right, guys. So I've run down the list of all the stuff you can do on my Mark 7 Jetta S model here. Okay. It's a non GLI. It's a regular S, not even SEL. Just a regular S model. All right. So I'm going to go ahead now, go through the menus and enable what I want to enable and disable what I want to disable. I probably won't disable anything. So, guys, I went ahead and entered in my Apple ID password and says go ahead now and purchase a subscription. Okay, we can do the 52 dollars per year, okay, or a pro one week pass for $139. This is a special rate. It's usually above $20, but today's rate's $139. This is all because of COVID-19 fiasco, okay? So obviously, it's a no-brainer for us. I'll go ahead and press that, confirm. That's it, we're all set. So, simple warning, disabled. Bye-bye. That's our first changing mod. And there you go. It went out. Okay, that's fine. Gates, you know, sweep a startup. Hell yeah. Save it. Okay, it's done. Exterior. There we go. I'll make it five flashes. Save. I love that. So when you have your turn signal just lightly pressed, not fully on, it'll flash five times. Yep, love that. I have that enabled in my Mark 6 Jetta right now. And therefore, I want it enabled here as well. Okay. See the steering wheel. Okay, remember, driver's seat heat level. Okay, 10 minutes only. We'll do that, yes, instead. I love that. I initially had that installed, yes, on my Mark 6 Jetta. But then I got the new upgraded HVAC control with the chrome knobs. And therefore, it didn't really let me do that anymore because it wasn't really the right one for my car. Uh, yeah, I can do it for 10 minutes only. That's fine. This is for the passenger side heat memory level. 10 minutes only. That's fine. Windows. Okay. Saying here now, open windows via long press on remote. Okay. Yep. We have it done on my Mark 6 Jetta. So I'm getting it done here too on the Mark 7 Jetta. This is the opening the windows with the remote functionality. I use that pretty much every day on my Russia Jetta. Next. Here you go. Enable that too. Save. Okay, next. Close the windows. Yep, definitely want to do it too. Enable. Save. This is for close the windows with your key remote. I absolutely love it. Next, enable remote control buttons when this one is on. I'll turn it to yes because I have that done in my Mark 6 setup. Yep, done. And that pretty much has concludes the video. This has been an awesome time modifying all the settings on my car. I absolutely love doing it on my Mark 6 Jetta. And today, I absolutely loved it so much doing it on my Mark 7 Jetta. So guys, feel free to go ahead now and get your own Carista dongle and your Carista app. Or you can get like a no-name dongle and still use the Carista app. For those no-name dongle brands and type, I guess you can say, well, go ahead online and search for them. I'm sure you find them. You can order them off of, you know, AliExpress, eBay, maybe through a local parts store supplier. All right, guys, I want to show you guys the gate sweep. Put the key in for you guys. Turn it over. And there it is. Wonderful. My flashers blinked five times now. And also I checked and I noticed that my windows with key fob remote also work. Let's go ahead and try it. And there they go. Hallelujah. Just by using the stock Carista dongle and the stock paid for app. 
All right, guys, so it's now a little bit later in the video. Well, I finally found out how to fix that. Head up, I went down. Okay, to factory settings. Then I went down and did a vehicle here. Reset, okay? Once that was done, then I'm now able to go ahead and do five beeps. So one, two, three, four, five, there they are. And that's how I did it, by resetting that. So there you have it, guys. A whole bunch of mods done through the Carista dongle on my Mark 7 2019 Volkswagen Jetta. From a windy Toronto, Canada, this is Mr. Greek 2002. I'll see you guys on the next upload. Please don't forget to drop a huge like on this video and subscribe to my channel for more future Mark 7 Jetta content.